Yeah, why is that actually that we that you need the entire public information again, like uh, basically the entire script? Uh, why is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in order to spend from Bitcoin address, you need to provide uh, not only the the uh, signatures, you need to provide the entire script for for the transaction. Uh, so when you lock Bitcoin, when you send Bitcoin to someone, you're basically locking it. Uh, and you, first of all, you need to provide the, uh, the actual conditions from, for what's locking the Bitcoin. So you need to provide, uh, you, when you send the Bitcoin, you provide the hash of how to spend it. So you don't provide the, the actual terms for spending it. And when you want to, to actually spend that Bitcoin, you need to provide both the terms on how it would be spent and the, um, so both the terms of how it will be spent and the actual signatures, so also fulfill those terms. Uh, so the terms are basically the public information. Uh, are the all all the um, all the keys that can sign the the transaction? If we're talking about multisig, it's it's just all the keys that are signing the transaction on the public keys. And then the private information that you need to provide is the signatures of at least such such and such uh, private keys. Uh, but the, um, the cosigners list, so the list of, uh, those who can sign the transaction, you need to provide all of them because you need to provide the entire, um, the entire, um, script that, com um, that corresponds to the hash, which was submitted to the blockchain first.